Hi, welcome to this video about reframing and welcoming your mistakes. How do we use our mistakes to grow in life? Let's learn what a mistake is and what we can do about it. When we are starting something new, when we are doing something new at our work, whenever we try to change anything, there is bound to be some kind of mistake that can happen. They're inevitable. But really, what does reframing mean? Is it something like I give an excuse for an excuse? Reframing is not that. Reframing is effectively learning by looking at it from a different perspective. What can we learn from what we did or what happened? And that is the definition of reframing. Look at it from a different perspective. It's not at all self-deception. What exactly is a mistake? A mistake is simply defined as something wrong. It's something wrong that I did, you did, someone else did, something is wrong in the society. That's, that's, that's actually very simplistic. That's not really the whole definition of a mistake. I define it as something that didn't give you your desired result. Let's say it get, got you some result and it was desired result for someone else. Someone else looks at it from a different perspective. For them, it was not at all a mistake. But for you, it was a mistake. How do we process that? You see there are two different perspectives coming on, perspectives coming in, coming in here. So mistake is defined as something that didn't give you your desired result. It's very, very relative to you. And the first way to look at reframing this as a different perspective is mistakes. They give you information about what works and what doesn't work. As simple as that. You did something, it didn't work. Let's say you did something to your house uh, last year. Uh, this year you faced the same problem, it didn't work. Oh, you, we learned something about it. Was it a costly thing to do? Some mistakes are costly, some mistakes are not. Some mistakes are costly in terms of money. Some mistakes are costly in terms of time. But with everything, there is a piece of information that you can learn something about. One different way, another way to look at this is as you go through life, as you go through doing something, mistakes are warning signals. They're telling you, man, this does not work. Let's do something different. If we try to do the same thing again and again, and we are getting the same result, we've got to change something. Mistakes are the best way to know where, which way to turn, what to change, what next to do. They serve as warning signals. Mistakes, in fact, never ever exist in the present moment. They're always afterthoughts. Think about the last mistake you have done. It's not that while you are doing the mistake, you are thinking this is a mistake, but no, come on. I, they are always afterthoughts. You analyze something of the past. Even if you know this is something that I know as a mistake, you have thought about it. You know this is a mistake. You might not, you should not be doing it, but you're still doing it. But this is an analysis after the real thing. This is an analysis of going through in your head, hey, this is a mistake. What it means is it helps you disassociate, remove yourself from the mistake. Since it is not happening in the present, since it was something in the past, it's an afterthought. And when you look back, of course, everything can be, you can learn from it. Everything can be, could have been, should have been kind of things start coming in, right? But while you are doing it, you acted on whatever information you had. That is a key learning from this. If you know that whatever information you had, that helped you do the action, you're right. You did the best you could. Mistakes are always an afterthought. Let's do this simple exercise. You can pause the video and take a screenshot or download the PDF, or you could just take a pen and pencil and paper and just write it down. What is the mistake? Take some examples, don't bundle them together. Take simple mistakes one at a time and say, can I reframe it as an information about what worked, what did not work? 
am i giving it too much importance am i really uh, getting carried away with it is there something bigger which is wrong that the mistake is trying to convey is it a warning signal for some bigger problem that might be on the way and right there you decide what can i do about it use this as a template and start start jotting down start catching your mistakes it's very easy to catch a mistake but what you do right after that is going to change the direction that's that's how whether you turn left or turn right that's extremely important what's going to change after this you will see mistakes as your friends you will in fact start welcoming those mistakes because the smaller and faster the mistake is the faster the learning is and as you learn there is a compounding effect even with lessons even with learning and you can add it add up your experience and finally you exactly know how to do it it's about everything whether you are learning swimming whether you are learning cycling whether you are trying to start a new business start a new job start a new relationships these things really 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 help you build upon your lessons so you will start welcoming them with every video we give this simple chart again this is something so simple that you could take a pencil and paper and just draw it uh, on your own but the key concept here is start taking one day at a time and maybe one week at a time and then go and start making a habit of catching these mistakes as you start catching these mistakes you start learning and start befriending them saying that this must have given me some extra information this must have given me some kind of warning and in any case this is not really something that exists in the present we do go deeper into how to handle mistakes in our course and you are free to sign up for it with using the links below understand mistakes are your friends see you in the next video no more do more bye